Hello, this is Cyprint from FA for All, and this video uh, I'll talk about Fortran again. And this time I'll show you how to read data from a file and also how to write data from a file. It's an extremely useful function, uh, especially if you have to, you know, to compute some data and then save it uh, under text format. So extremely useful uh, video. So the first thing I'll do is that I'll open my uh, folder in which I put everything I have now. Okay, I already uh, created read data, but I'll, I'll do it again for you. And um, what I'll do is that I create an empty document that I will call my data.txt. And I'll open this, and uh, of course there's nothing inside. Uh, and I will put three data inside, so one, two, and three, like that. Uh, I know it's not original at all. Anyway, that's just as an example. Uh, okay, and now let's just uh, let's just open the terminal. Let's cd into my uh, folder, which is on my desktop, and let's open. A new file, so uh, as I already have read data, I will call it read data 2.f95. Okay, uh, okay. Now uh, let's start by writing my program. So, program read data, uh, and again, I'll close that end program read data so you don't necessarily have to write read data at the end but it's better uh, in order to, to to recognize when you have long files uh, the first thing is to write implicit none um, to to keep the to be sure that it will check the declaration of your variables next uh, declaration of variables So uh, now we have to think what I will do with this program. So I will open my file, mydata.txt. I will extract three, uh, the three lines, the three data, and I will save them into three variables, x, y, and z. So that's why I have to define those three variables, which will be uh, real values, x, y, and z. Uh, and, and now let's define the main core of my function. So the first thing I want to do is to open the file. So for that, extremely uh, simple, I just use open. Uh, and I have to give some kind of ID to my file. So I call it 10, so it could be 12, it could be whatever I want, but it should be an ID, a unit number. And you need that in order to link this uh, file you opened with all the operations. So open that and then you give it the file which will be uh, my data dot txt, right? Uh, and now, now that we open the file, we have to read it. So we just use the operator read, and we used ten. So you remember that when you you uh, you are taking an input from the keyboard from a person directly from the terminal, you write like you would a print, and then you write the variable that you want to 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 put into the, the command. Well, when you open from a file, you have to put uh, the number, so 10, and then it's basically more or less the same, x, uh, and then what you read from the file, so x, y, and z. So I'm, I will put those three vari those, uh, the content of the file of the three lines into those three variables. Uh, and now, now that I have that, I want to display that on the screen. So print, and again, x, y, and z. Okay, so le that's more or less what I want my program to do. Very simple. Let's save my file. Let's open a second window. Uh, let's open the shell. So I remind you, ask, x, and shell. Uh, and let's use g4 trend with um, so read data to um, and my file read data read data to 
dot f95. I compile that. Now let's launch my program read data two, and you see it works. It read those three data from the file. Nice. Uh, now, how do you write actually something into a file? Well, um, you let's just okay. Let's go back here, and um, I will just copy all that. So, Control Space and Alt the W. Let's open a new file. Control X, Control F, and let's call it um, write data dot f ninety five, and let's paste that inside. So now I have my new program saved in another file. Let's call it this time write data, and okay, write data. And this time uh, it will do the same, but this time I will declare um, I will declare my variables here. So x equal uh, twenty three, y will be equal to forty five, and z will be equal to uh, eighty nine. Okay. And similarly, I'll open a file. So I'll give another number, let's say 12. And this time I will call it written data .txt. So I don't have this file right now. There's no file in my uh, directory. And instead of write, instead of read, I will just write write. So I will write those three data into the file. That's it, and um, here for the print, your data has been written. Let's save this, and let's uh, compile. So G Fortran O write data write data dot f95 it works write data your data has been written now let's let's take a look at what we have into my file okay you so you see you have write data dot txt and if i open it i got my three uh, data so uh you could even um, you know, customize that, make a table of data, for example. Well, that I think that would be uh, nice. So if you want to export, I don't know, stress data or displacement data at several nodes, well, you could uh, use this uh, methodology in order, for example, to create a table uh, that will output uh, the right data for you. Um, so it will be exactly the same, but you just use a loop inside, which will loop through the variables that you want to output, and then it will export it into the file. So if you don't know how to do uh, the loop, you can go back to my previous uh, video tutorial about the loop, and you'll see that uh, very easily this can be integrated into uh, this algorithm to, to have uh, the export of a table of data. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, as usual, if you have any comments, don't hesitate to leave it either on YouTube or on uh, the blog. And if you like those tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. It's always nice to see that more and more people are watching and are uh, learning from all those videos that I'm making for you. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. So if you're on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog, fea4all.com, uh, and click in the category open source FEA, and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. 
I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback. And if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.